Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. So we gotta try something here sitting at the table while we tired. The gun is clear. This is that 350 Legend that we built. We're gonna try to do a gun skin kit on it. I bought the little kit here. It comes with a couple stickers, instruction manual, and it came with an extra mag wrap. So, uh, got a heat gun. I got a vinyl installation kit. It's got like a little exacto knife and some squeegees and just some little stuff for doing intricate work. Like I said, the gun's been checked. It's clear, as you can see, and uh, get y'all set up. We'll get this party started. So one of the things not on video is I did degrease the gun already. I used brake cleaner and rubbing alcohol, and you want to take a little brush and scrub down all the grooves. This was a new gun, so it's a lot less greasy than if you've got an older one. But according to the instructions, that is the first step is to, re is to degrease the gun. So... We've done that already. That's the part I'm gonna leave out because that was a little time consuming. Now, the kit should be, from what I understand, it should be, yeah, everything's pre-cut out and you just name it, our number one through two, or one through whatever. So I've got it opened up, it's like a little book. Now I will say, this part's a little BS. They've creased this on some of your stickers so those ends are already messed up and they haven't even been used yet. I may have to chat with them about that because that one's got a you can see it's got an actual groove folded in it. We'll just have to see where that fits or how that fits and then we'll go from there. So everything's labeled. You got left mag, right mag, and it goes number one, number two, right grip upper, left grip so everything's kind of, that part's pretty neat the way they do lay it out. Looks like this end would be just some extra film if you needed it. Okay, yeah, that's for your butt stock and four ends and et cetera. Just extra film on that side. So all your business ends down here cut out. Yeah, I'm not really happy about this. I would rather unfold that end up. You see these where it goes around the Picatinny rail is already all messed up. So we're going to try it. If it don't lay right, I'll contact them. Make them send me another sheet. Let's get this party started here. I do believe it would help a lot to have the gun in a vise, but I don't have a vise here at the moment. So we're just going to kind of lay it in the lap and do it the best we can. So yeah, you're definitely gonna want an exacto knife for sure to pull all these little pieces off because uh, and I'm just going right here to the edge and just laying them across. But yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a pretty time consuming process. Now what I may do is once I get everything on here, I may hit it with a little heat to form everything. And, that black and that green standing out nice. And I don't know that you, you know, you may not want to use these top cap pieces. You may just want to do the, the, the piece that lays in here and I'll show you all that next. Cause I actually may do it first that so we don't get caught up on all of this along the way. So appears like it's sticking pretty good so far. Seems like it's gonna stick pretty good. So we'll just keep going down the going down the line here. It's a little darker piece. Just lay it in like so. Now we're down to the mag here, because this was number one, so. Hit it with a little heat.
Nice fit on the magazine. Real nice fit on the magazine. Just hit it with a little heat and rub it on real good. Just like so. You can feel the texture and everything through it. So I think that might be part of the thing is to get it with some heat. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video. It's been a lot going on because um, I kind of had family still here. and I was ready to get this party started so I wouldn't be up till 10 o'clock tonight. Every piece goes in chronological order. So number one was left mag over here. Number two was right mag, left upper, left lower. So everything's labeled one, two, three, the way they want you to do it. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to cut out around these pins because uh, I just don't really like the fit and finish of it right there. So just gonna try it. And if it don't work, I'll lay another piece of uh, vinyl over it right there. Or at least maybe I can leave it. I just want it to lay down in here better. Right around there. This one especially, this one really needs some relief around it. I might go to shrink it, let's see. We'll try shrinking it first, and if that don't work, then I'll cut it out. Let's see here. Okay, actually shrinking it did pretty good. I mean, I'm telling y'all, you'd be surprised what you can get this vinyl to go around with with a little heat. I have been very surprised. So y'all saw that. I think y'all could see it on camera. I mean, it's laying in there pretty good now. I just didn't want to always have like a big bubble there around it looks stupid. I don't care if this is perfect, but I do want it to look decent because I don't want my gun to look stupid. So if it's not gonna look decent, then uh, I'll rip this crap off and throw it in the garbage can. All right, so we're at number four now, which is going to be, number four is gonna be the lower receiver. I still had, I think that this little piece, I believe this is just like a little tail that didn't get cut off. So I think you can take that off. It would have been nice for them to print fire and safety on here. They do not have that. So keep in mind that you do not get, maybe we can make something to go on there safe and fire. I don't know. Okay, and now I just learned what another little piece is too. I told you I've never done this. So we're doing this for the first time together. So that looks pretty clean. That fixed that up. Now, I found out what this little piece is for. This little guy here is for your selector switch. So a lot of stuff they did, they thought about some really cool detail. I mean, I personally don't know if I would have cut out the selector switch decal or not, because uh, I don't know how long that little guy is going to stay on there, but we'll see. I just thought this would be pretty neat to do to kind of protect the finish of the gun. You see the way this is coming back up now? I don't like that. I don't like the way it looks. So I'm just going to make a little cut right here around the bottom so that it will lay on in there, right? You're definitely going to need an X-Acto knife when doing this because uh, a lot of little stuff. Same with this uh, pin over here. Take down pin. We'll just cut around it best we can here. And uh, this vinyl is no joke. This stuff is uh, pretty dang solid. I'll give them that too. Like I just had to go break off the knife and get to a sharp piece because uh, it looks like it would cut pretty easily. <clears throat> but it does not cut easily. So now we'll lay that on around there. 
And if that little piece falls off of me, I could care less because those items are black anyway. Get a little heat. All right, now we're down to the left lower. And they give you enough vinyl. You've got enough on your cutouts to where if you had to do something or change something, you could. Left lower receiver. All right, I'm trying to figure out how the world... The orientation of some of this stuff would be nice to have. I don't know where the hell. I mean, that's the lower receiver. That don't fit. That don't fit. Maybe. Possibly right there. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it goes there. Because then I've got left lower, and then number five is left magwell. Okay. Uh, all right, let me look at this real quick. Let's go on to number five, and uh, we'll come back to that one because I really ain't understanding that. Okay, so that's going to cover up all of that there. I'm more worried about it making sure it lays in here nice around the stuff you can see. Like this little upper portion here. I'm more worried about that being nice and clean fit than I am around the bottom. But see, the way they cut it, everything matches up. Like even the skull matches up. So that's pretty... See, now you're... you're your front pin here, they cut it out. I'm not sure why they don't cut out the rear one. That really don't make a whole lot of sense to me. This one's pre-cut. This one is not. So pivot pin's pre-cut, takedown pin's not. That's a little odd. I don't know why they did it like that. I mean, it would have been just as easy for them to go ahead and cut it out and have it ready to go for you. Like I said, heat's your friend. It really helps everything get contoured. And makes that, that wrap to where it'll really get on there and get stuck in place real good. Now, I don't know if the heat helps with adhesion or not, but I know it helps with the formation of it. And see, this stuff's really cool. You can just pick it up. It don't just bite on... It doesn't bite till you give it some pressure, so that's pretty cool because you don't have to fight with junk. See, that even matches up over here, so I love the finish of it. It looks really nice. Just a couple little things that I really ain't understanding why they do it the way they do it, but whatever. They're making more money than me, probably. Okay, come on around there. So... So y'all see this? I mean, that's nice looking. I love the way everything matches up. That looks really cool. I still have no idea other than if... You know, I'm not sure on that. I might have to read about that for a second. Because, uh, I don't know. It's very odd, though. I'm to says left lower receiver. So, I don't know. Looking nice. Still have no clue where this left lower receiver goes. I do not know. Maybe it might be for a different gun. I don't know. Maybe an AR-10? Something like that? I don't know. The dog barks every time I start filming. I have no clue why. Just overlook it. All right. So number... The next one is dust cover. Which should be number six. Number six, dust cover. 
That don't seem right. Wonder where. I mean, that says dust cover over there. Number four, five, five, four, six. Dust cover. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I was reading upside down. Y'all, excuse me. This is dust cover, not left lower receiver. We just used that. Sorry. Act like that didn't happen. Hey, sometimes stuff happens. So. Get this. It might have been better to lock this in place, but yeah, I think that might be the way to go. Let's go ahead and get that out the way there. I'm more worried about making it making sure it's good on the edges than anything else because that's really what's going to matter. There we go. Hit it with a little heat again. Don't take a whole lot of heat. You might overheat it if you get too crazy. But a little heat definitely helps it out a lot. I may cut a relief cut down each side of that because that would make more sense to me. Unless I can get it to heat up enough to go. Kind of press it in place for a second. Okay. All right, now, I got another little piece that says dust cover on it, and I'm thinking it may go... I'm thinking it may go right down here is what it looks like. Possibility it goes down there. Looking like it does at least. Let's see. And here's again where we want to make sure it's not upper and lower staying apart here. So. Make sure this one's positioned nicely. Tell you what, that's quite a little pain nasties in there. Okay, let's see if we can play that in. Still needs to slide up just a hair. Come on, baby. There's that end. Work our way on down to this end. There we go. I just like the heat. It really seems to set it nicely. So that's done. Let me spin y'all around so y'all aren't looking upside down. And I'll try not to read upside down and get us confused again. number five number six so we're on to number seven which is deflector and that one's gonna come in two pieces it looks like Gotta kind of play with it till you figure out what goes where. It almost appears that that's gonna go there, and that's gonna wrap around. I think we're on to something here. Even if we're not on to something, we're on to something because we it's it's about there. Now you can pull it back up if need be. So get that on there. Looks like this piece can go over everything there, like so. Might need to hit this with a little heat. Or cut it. I'll set that down there for a second. Mm. 
Yeah, that needs a cut for sure. Right along this top edge. So that one can lay down and the other can come across the top. And lay down. That right there is all okay. This is the proper way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it. Then I'm going to take this one and we're going to put this one on the front of it. Actually, you know, I may have put that on wrong. Either way, it's going to cover up, so. I'm almost thinking it may have started here and went around, but like I said, they don't, they don't really send you a whole lot of instructions with it. You just kind of got a lot of this stuff you got to figure out as you go. Either way, it's all going to be covered. I kind of wouldn't mind if that wasn't done anyhow because I don't like how it comes together there. Kind of stupid looking. Be all right. Okay. So that took care of number seven on to number eight. Number eight is our right upper receiver. Pulled off the wrong part. I'm telling you, if, if y'all do one of these, you'll understand what I'm saying. It's easy to get confused on where you're at. You get to look at this piece of paper over here upside down. Cause I'm trying to halfway keep it in the in the video here. Let's see here. Yeah, that's something like it's gonna go like this. So main thing here is don't let it get on the barrel, don't let it get in the way of dust cover, and everything else will be okay. That should lay good like that, yep. So just before you start sticking, sticking it down, kind of have a plan, because you're not too far to turn around until you just really start just sticking it down really good. And then we know that we don't want it all over our lower. We want to keep those two separate. See this one. Honestly, I believe it should be cut off so that you can deal with them one at a time versus having to fight with everything at one time. I just want to make sure it's not going to get caught up on the dust cover any. Don't look like it's going to there. All this looks like it's going to be okay. This is way over on the lower here and that is too so we need to get this going back up the right direction here let's see if we can if it'll cooperate that is see that's a little bit of a cleaner look there I just want to make sure the upper and the lower stay separated that I don't really like right there because that's going to the lower and that's part of the upper. So there are a few pieces that they cut kind of funky, I think. But, you know, what you can do in this particular situation is just uh, find your little place here and uh, cut one from the other. Let's see. I'm telling you, all this stuff is some tough vinyl. I'll give them that all day long. This is some tough stuff. There we go. Now, we'll get 
that's where I don't want to interfere with your charging handle. Okay, that all seems to be laying in nice. There a little heat and rubber on in here. It's a pretty cool little kit if you got a gun you want to kind of make it look a little different. I mean, if you're looking for a professional dip job, this ain't it. I mean, but it looks, I mean, it looks good. Looks pretty decent. All right, now, let's get this little guy now. Yeah, I just think there's certain stuff that you need to make a relief cut in order to kind of get it to line up right, and this is one of them. Because that was not hit in the right direction. At all. And, I mean, you could lay it in and then just cut it off, but it's just as easy just to make a little relief cut there, and or a split it and put it in in two sections because once it's done I mean you really can't even tell it give it a little heat there was one guy I watched that used a sponge but I didn't have a sponge to set it so I had this little thing over this little pointy deal so that worked out just as good Step number nine is going to be our forward assist. So see, even though I made a little lay down cut there, it didn't matter because they're going to have the forward assist. It's going to be different anyhow, so it's just going to kind of lay up there like so. I'm just trying to make sure I got it halfway going right before I go to sticking it. Yep, that looks like her. Same thing, I'm going to hit the little heat to set it real good. Alrighty, number 10 is right lower receiver. And they did cut out the takedown pin on this. I still ain't understanding why they didn't cut down or take it, cut out the takedown pin on the other side. That part still don't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Whatever. So we'll just line it up there on that takedown pin and start working it out from there since that's the most important part, I guess, of all this, nothing else moves. And I really wish they would have cut out for the trigger pins. That would have made stuff a lot nicer. I do like the way it forms to all the different contours and I mean it's really a good looking kit it's just a couple little things that I can't understand the way they did it oops drop that wasn't paying attention I need to kind of get that up and if I can there we go this in here we want to kind of stretch on around there like so so, I mean, the thing is, the whole gun is going to be covered after this, that's for sure. See, I just don't like that around the take down pins. Not, not one little bit do I like that. Just don't look good. It's kind of a cruddy little look. And even if you apply heat, it still just don't lay right.
and especially not right here because you got a lot of stuff going on. So I don't like the finish of this side. Really, just don't look good. I'm gonna cut around those because that looks kind of stupid. Just don't like it. Or maybe kind of push around them a little bit. This is kind of a real soft little plastic. Not real soft, but it's soft enough to where you can actually do stuff with it. Let's see if we can maybe contour this some. Maybe hit it with a little heat and hold it for a second, see if we can stretch it a bit. That looks pretty decent. That's not bad if it'll stay there now. So yeah, maybe you can heat those up because I wouldn't have cared if they broke because uh, I'd just rather it. Now, I don't need to get the heat on this time because I just need the heat on this one. So I can start working it in here. This was a window tent application kit. No, no, no. This might have been the vinyl one because I did vinyl wrap my my side by side the front fenders. So that don't look too bad. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of got it to form around them. So that's a little better looking if it stays. I'll update y'all on that because I am going to use this gun out in the woods too. So this is not going to be a gun that sits home in the closet. It will actually get used and get. In the elements that's why i kind of wanted to wrap this one to see how it holds up i'm gonna be mad if it don't come off when i'm ready to take it off but we'll see i watched a couple videos and it seemed to come off all right we just did the right or the lower receiver now we got to do the right Let's see. I need to turn this around, but all my stuff's going to fall off the edge of the table if I turn around where I can see. We did number 10. Now, it did come with a little button cover right here. We'll go ahead and stick that you on. Let's see how much way it's going to go. I'll hold this. I'm going to go right there like so. Ish. I missed that one a little bit. So if you miss, it'll come back off. It's not the end of the world. That heat really seems to make that stuff set nice. I don't know if you're supposed to use heat on every one, but I would say use it because it really helps it to set good. I don't like the fit and finish up here on the barrel. You got these little tags that like hang off where it just don't seat real good around it. And I don't like them. I mean, this end looks janky, but I got it to lay the best I could. It's just too many curves there. And I did use heat. I played with it, tried to get it right, but it wouldn't do right. But I mean, from here, you can't see it. So a couple foot away. This is like one of them, um, what is it? it's a 10 foot wrap job. 10 foot away, it looks great. All right, so we need number 11 now. This is going to be our mag release here. And the orientation of all this stuff is not really, like they don't tell you which direction it goes in some of these, so you just kind of got to figure it out. It'd be cool if they had like little arrows or something, just like a little map to help you along. Again, yeah, we'll hit that with a little heat and set it on down. Start working her in there real good. Okay, then we got the button cover here. Seems 
Yeah, hell, I don't think it really would matter. We'll put it down here. So you know your your mag release has got little grooves in it. When you hit this thing with some heat, it'll go right down in them little grooves. I mean, it forms pretty good. I'll give them that. I didn't really pay attention. I think I've been working on this for about 30 minutes so far, so not too bad. All right, on to number 12. Number 12 has no, descri no description. So we went from mag release to just number 12. This one has no description, and there's another one right here beside it that has no description, so. But, I mean, Kind of looks like it goes there, so that's where we're going to put it at. Oh, come on, guy. Quit playing. And here again, I think your best bet here would be to line up to where you're off of your upper. Let's see here. We'll go from there to there. Yep, I think that's going to be your best bet. This could slide down just a hairy doodle more this way. It says not to be on the upper is what you don't want. Which, I mean, even if it was, you could just hit it with a little exacto knife and knock it on off of there. But for the application of this one, we're going to try to keep the two halves separate the way they were intended. Now, I could see where... A sponge may come in handy on this. A lot of little grooves to get in here. We're going to use our heat as we've been using this whole video. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. It's not really, I know this is nothing too exciting, but I do these videos because, like I said at the beginning of making my channel, I like to buy stuff and test it out and see how it works and I hope this helps somebody to make a decision on whether or not this is the quality of product they want or if they want to spend more money and do something different. I'm going to say that if it holds up and if it comes off decently easy, then my review of this is going to be excellent product for 60 bucks. I mean, you can't ask to, you can't go get a gun powder coated you can't go get it hydro dipped or none of that for sixty dollars i don't even know if you can buy the little hydro dip kit and do it yourself for sixty dollars so if you want just a change of pace on your gun just something to look a little different this is definitely the one this is going to be our pivot pin piece here I'll just stick right on there. I don't know. We'll see how this lasts and see how many pieces fall off. I'll update y'all a couple times on it because I'm not going to be easy on it. Now we're down to the mag well. Need to get that. Needs to go. Well, that looks like it fits pretty nice right there. Seeming like it will. We're just gonna send it there and see. Now, you may wanna cut out around your serial number if you're in one of them states where uh, they're kinda of picky about being able to see your serial number because uh, your serial is covered up with this. So, if you're in one of those states, you may want to do a cutout on that here. We don't really have to worry about it too much. Heck, our guns aren't even registered where I'm at. Don't have to register anything. You just buy it and it's your gun. Okay. Looking good. Looking good so far. Let's see what's next here. They did send these cool little stickers. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. All right, now. 
right grip, left grip. And I don't know that I'm going to do the stock. I may leave that stock the way it is. Right grip is here. And should just go just like so. May have to cut a few little leaf cuts along the back side of that one. I mean, I do like how it does give you your grip still. You can't really see it from the video, but you can feel it on here. It does still have grip to it. Start working this on around here. See, put that up in there. Right there, come down here, and then they give you a little relief there. So, start pulling that around. So. Wow, that worked out nice. Very, very nice. Very nice looking. You can just see the grip come out, and I'll hit it again here in just a moment with that heat. nice and got good grip to it and uh yeah looking very good just kind of fold all that under may trim it up just a wee bit do a little cut there because uh i want it to be sticky and not have like a flap fold on it there we'll probably trim that up because this is one of those magpul grips it's got the little compartment on it man this is looking nice i would say i'm definitely gonna be doing another one of these i just like the look of it and they got they give you a whole sheet down there to wrap the foregrip and all that they do not pre-cut that it's just a sheet down there you cut out what you need and use so and i'll probably put some on here i don't think i'm gonna do the stock i think i'm just gonna leave it the way it is and be done with it. So I'm get this to fit nicely like we're on the other side. See this other side is trying to come up right there. See. No, nope. see we missed just a little right there. I'm gonna try to cover that whole grip up. Got a little bit of a miss again. It's a very forgiving kit, I'll say that. So yeah, I like the way this little thing is setting up here. It's looking like it does good. Is it quality? Something I'd put on a $5,000 gun? I don't know, maybe for protection of the gun, but not really if you're wanting show quality. You're not. It's not show quality, because I mean, like back here, you got spaces where it wraps and overlaps, like right in here, but I mean, it ain't bad. Not for $60 and just something to have that little bit of wow factor. I'm just hoping that it really kind of holds up and don't fall off, so to say. Now, let's do this little hinge here. So yeah, there's a couple of pieces I'm gonna come back and patch in and make a little better. It's not looking bad. Not looking bad at all. Pull that under here. So.
trying to make all this to where it actually lays and it's not just, here, let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's just kind of fold it into one and I want to trim around this little door. I should have just took this little door out is what I should have done. Let's see. I don't know that I can get that little door out of there now. Just kind of trim up around it some, clean it up a little. Just like so. Yeah, that looks a lot better there. Now, I think what I can do is, <clears throat> I think I can take these little brown spots. See, I don't like these little flappy pieces either. I want those off of here, where they kind of overlapped and stuck together instead of sticking to something, because that's going to get annoying. That's going to be a good spot for it to start peeling. So we'll tear that off. And then what I'll do is I'll come down here and maybe, maybe kind of cut a little square out. Let's see here. Like so. Bring that up here. Maybe we'll put this right on here like this. It's a little better. Still not perfect, but it's a little better, and it covered up that little bite of brown down there that was in the way. Okay. I've got enough to where I could wrap this probably, but I don't know. We're going to have to just wait on that for a second and see how it goes. I'm really pretty curious to see how the barrel works. Let's see here. I need to get myself a little... I'm going to get myself a little something made to see how much vinyl I'm actually going to need. Because I think I'm going to do it in, like, strips. So, to not have to trim anything, I would need to start here, like that, so that I got some overlap. Come on around, come on around. Keep coming around, around, and around. And then what we do is we kind of fold her off there. So that's about how much it's going to take. And then we'll test fit it in just a second. This is a piece of vinyl, if it was there. Come on, right. see that's a little bit too much. It could go just a hair less than that because it's gonna stretch some. So it could go just a hair less. Let's see, we'll cut off just a little bit here until we get it to the proper size. Okay. See, that's gonna be about it. We're gonna need a piece about that wide, which is, see, you're gonna have a lot of it left over because if you go this wide, let's just see. Now, I could go all the way down, but I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna do it sections because I think that'll be a lot easier on me because this is gonna be a lot of cutting and a lot of BS down through there.
see if we can kind of get something to straight edge on here. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Let's see. Yeah, that would be right. That'd be pretty close. Let's just see. We're just going to play with this and see. Like I said, this stuff is not the not the easiest in the world to cut. You see, I didn't even get it cut all the way up here for some reason there. Let's see if we can just score this back along here or something. Let's see. Yeah, now, now we got ourselves a little mess here. Yeah, so if you do cut it, make sure you actually cut it. Don't play with it, because, uh, yeah, that worked out. Next. These strips need to be about... That's long enough to go side to side is how I did that. Let's just see how this is going to work out. Just out of curiosity. So that's going to lay in there like so. And then we're going to go ahead and start getting the heat going after this thing. At least just a little bit and start sinking it in here. I think there's a method to a madness. I'm sure there's another way to do this, but for me, I think this is gonna work out good. So, there she is. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, heck, I may leave it like that. I like the look of it. I don't know. Should I cut the holes out or not? I mean, I don't know. I just like the look of that full, like that full tight grip. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it like that for a minute. And then I'll cut the holes out, maybe. Not sure. Y'all give me y'all's opinion. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that because I don't know. I just like the look of it. Same thing again. Get this here measuring gauge. And get us a little straight edge going on. The only thing we're going to do different this time is we're really going to uh, cut hell out of it. We ain't going to play with it this time. Come on, little guy, stop playing. Come on. Because that was the perfect length that we figured out there. All right. I'm going to have to think about what we're going to do there. Square that up. Let's see here. Looks 
try to keep everything going kind of in the same direction. Okay, this one's going to need to be cut off about, we'll cut it off about right in, let's see. I don't think, no, this is really just crazy accurate measuring, but we'll stick it back down. Take our handy dandy little measuring tape here. And we'll cut it off about right in there. Just like so. Uh oh, we missed a little spot again. Every time it does that. I'm telling you, this is some tough vinyl. Tough stuff. Well, let's try this one. Just kind of overlap them just a hair, like so. Stop it. And now we're gonna do the the same thing over again. Let me slide y'all down just a little bit. There we go. So same thing over again. Just hit it with some heat and start wrapping. And I think that heat just kind of helps set things. I really think until I decide for sure, I'm not going to cut out all the holes on the hand guard because I kind of like the way it looks like it is. It's like that full hand guard look. I don't know how to explain it, but I like it. I'm just going to leave it just like it is. All right, so hope somebody finds this video useful or useless, one of the two. I'm going to clean up this end a little bit. This video is plenty long enough. Y'all have a good evening. And a happy Thanksgiving.